Hi everybody, my name is Tom and today <clears throat> I needed something different. So I was tired of all those normal maps like, you know, you go like, browse the workshop and then you take here like, most popular this week. No clue why nothing is showing up, but it's always the same. The, those maps are short and five minutes and relatively easy. So, um, a Percher Valentine is like basically one of my favorite multiplayer maps. And, um, I don't know, your name LP Freak, it just uh, pops up there. And it has something to do with you. I forgot about what. About a video you made and I made a comment or something. Yeah. So I just had your name in mind and I thought I'd check all of your maps. And, uh, wow. Well, let's have a look. So I played them all already. It took about four hours or so, but whatever. And I was a bit disappointed with some, at least. Not with all. So um, what I do is I want to do some kind of, I don't know, review, walkthrough, feedback, comments, something like that. So um, I will write down what maps um, come up in what order. So, um, 140, uh, Laser Field Nightmare. Nightmare, okay. 150, actually, meanwhile. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So, this is the first map I play. Um, the order of the maps, by the way, is by by date of publishing I think okay so I uh, I need to recall some stuff so I I may have forgotten quite some some of that things here okay yeah this is like I, I know you help a lot of people creating maps and, and giving tips and so on I don't know what exactly you do if you rather um, tell people or if you program or, or so, so new stuff, like uh, for example, you have quite often that uh, red fizzler that is the combination of a laser field and a fizzler, or you have, um, what did you have? I don't know. For example, there are is like uh, laser barriers that kind of turn on something when you go through them with a cube and stuff like that so let's call that simply modding or so yeah so I don't know if you just do modding or if you also do things like creating simple puzzles and obviously creating puzzles is only a side side thing of yours um, because this here for example I mean look at this this is terrible this is terrible here it is simply inconvenient. First of all, uh, I last time actually tried to throw the cube over there, and I guess it will work. But after all, you gotta ask yourself, how would you come back then? And so um, I ended up doing this here. And yeah, you know, you you walk so fast into this uh, laser that ah, I don't know. It's just inconvenient, you know. I always think it's very bad when the execution is kind of harder than um, than the puzzle like itself. You know? So I think always the finding the solution should be the trick and not the execution. And this is exactly for this puzzle there, maybe not the case. Okay, so this room here was pretty cool. I forgot actually what I did. I shot a portal over there. Oh, gee. And uh, then I went over there and I took some cubes with me. So let's see where we get them from. I think I jumped over there. Can this be? Ah, yeah, I did this here. Very nice. Oh, and there is a button, but I think we don't even need it. I don't know. Um, this will simply open this one here. <clears throat> so we took them cubes. Put them into this. 
And then uh, I took the bridge again. And for what did I do that? Ah, to go up there. Okay, yeah. Okay, and there we go. So this is very cool when you combine the first room and so on, or second room. That's very cool. Um, I think it's overall a nice map. I just had a problem with the uh, floor laser feel there, so I actually gave it a like in the end. Um, I actually thought you would only make like hammer maps and custom textures, custom intro uh, stuff here, you know, text fade ins, uh, plants and decoration stuff, tables and whatever. Um, but obviously, you make like simple puzzle maker maps, kind of. Okay, <clears throat> so I do not know what this room here is good for. I think I fizzled myself to fizzle yourself. Anyway, here I was thinking a bit for a moment, and then I reminded exactly this other map there that we both find a bit problematic. You know the map where where there is a gray tile and it looks definitely mm, like black so like not portable and uh, yeah it's obviously white and it's a perfect oh fuck I should not jump into the cube uh, it's a perfect way to waste your time there yeah Let's see. Gotta turn this a bit. Hmm. I think I wait one one period. That's not perfectly timed, but it will work. Oh, close. So let's see, I hope I can do this here. That worked. Okay, so this is very cool. I like this mechanism actually. It's a bit slow, but you wait quite some time. <clears throat> so we get our lens, and uh, I think I placed it here this way. And this is also not very good actually, because you s fall so easily into the water. It's terrible. All right. Now, what was this here? I kind of forgot. F Fissler, okay. Um, ah, yeah, we brought the the lens with us. So I actually didn't even have to place it like that. I just saw this uh, like wall here, and I thought it's anyway that the trick is to place it that inconvenient way. So. Let me place this here and see what actually happens. Ah, yeah, this turn this and then we could fling up. So, as I said, this is not a blind play. Oh, yeah, the turrets. Shit, I forgot them. Last time I um, went in there directly and just killed them. This time I kind of forgot it. That's not bad. We can quickly do this again. Alright, there we go. And now... Uh, what I actually did is... Um, no. I thought I went back. Anyway, what what did the, those ones do? Ah, uh, yeah. I brought the lens up here. Did I? No. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Anyway, I made something like this. So like a portal there, a button there. I go in here. I make this here. And then here. So this is actually what I did. But I just saw right now that um, I could actually use this one for a bit of momentum. But then again, this is very tricky that you do not uh, fall or fly into the laser field. Now here, this is also uh, very mean, 
because when you stay over there, let me hope I do not die. When you stay here, I mean, when you want a portal over there, um, you obviously don't make it there. I don't know, I made it actually there last time I didn't jump over. So I made it there and went over. But I thought, like, uh, when I make it there, I have it on ground level, why not, and so on. And you cannot be sure what's down there, you know, so... Well, it's actually not mean. I mean, everybody should actually uh, think of the fact that there could be water and when you jump, you see it, so... Okay, yeah. Uh, I said nothing. Ah, oh, screw that turret. Anyway, I think we can get the cube out of there. So let's do that. And <clears throat> what do we need? We got stairs here. That's very nice. Uh, we need a laser. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. So we can do that. So <clears throat> I think again, it's a very nice puzzle. I like this one a lot. And yeah, I'm just missing here the custom shit. Like here, textures, plants, destruction theme, uh, custom looking beam, uh, walk on wall scale and whatever. However, I think this is not even possible. Someone in the forum said like it's either extremely hard or impossible to make this. <clears throat> because it's completely cut out of the game. Just reflective gear is left. Oh yeah, and this map. I enjoy this this kind of map a lot. Like, many people say bypassing fizzlers, like a row of fizzlers and, and so on. And you work with uh, some portals. This is so shit, they say. But I think it's cool. I like it. Um, I just forgot how I killed the turrets. Um, I think I had a uh, lens, yeah. Look at that. Oh, and then I killed the first two turrets. And wait, I need this. Um, by the way, let's wait till it goes into search or sleep or whatever. Then I just storm the front here. Bam. And then now um, we can solve this. Now I um, this is always tricky to remember what exactly you did. So. Um, I may need two or three tries. Um, of course, we first of all start with that what feels pretty obvious. Then we go through there, then we can make a portal there, and now we are already halfway through. Two or four fizzlers passed, yay! I think I switched here. I actually brought the lands quite far over but uh, we can actually simply do this here this way okay and now we have almost done it um, last time I of course went up but uh, we can have a look for everybody watching this not knowing the map you need both cubes up there so yeah <clears throat> good now um I was stuck here a bit. I was uh, thinking about um, the goal could be to bring both uh, cubes. What did I think actually? Yeah, right here. While while you have a portal up there, so you make the portal up there. I think I actually can do this. So I make the portal, and now I want to have both cubes right in here, without changing my portal. Now the orange portal. I can make uh, blue. And this actually felt pretty correct, so let me make this. Because um, I still have one way here. I have one way, actually. <clears throat> as long as the fizzler is off. When it's on, my way is gone. But anyway, it turned out, I don't know, let me say, uh, <clears throat> tricky or difficult, whatever. Then, um, as far as I know you, um, I think... Um, you make awesome stuff, like uh, your approach your Valentine and so on, very cool. So let me quickly um, get the lands here. I will destroy it just after. 
But I thought then what actually would be a very cool puzzle and what I could imagine is the task is like uh, go, go through here while holding the lens and then you have it in here, you know. So uh, yeah, I was a bit experimenting with this. And finally I came up uh, with uh, solutions like, or ideas like, uh, yeah, when I press the button, well, now the cube is there, but the lens would approximately fall onto the button. It turned out after the three tries that, well, it's actually not reliable. Well, it worked not a single time out of those uh, three times, or whatever. And then I thought, yeah, okay, when we can't respawn the lens, we respawn this one. And um, then I also noticed, yeah, it's very easy to disable this fizzler. Seriously, very easy. And uh, therefore, yeah, let's get the lens here and uh, collect both cubes approximately here. Well, only one, actually. Okay, so uh, I think, unfortunately, we have to start all over, but we can quickly do that. Yeah. So I don't know if you're interested in my uh, way of thoughts, but yeah, I hope so. Anyway, I just no I didn't even notice that last time, but I mean, this is uh, not beautiful with the anti I mean... Hmm. I don't know if I would have made this, this one continue a bit further and then go up there or so. Whatever. Okay, cool, yeah, and now uh, I think we simply make a portal up there and one there, respawn the cube, and that's it. So let's bring them both up, up there, and finished. So I like those puzzles a lot, and enjoyed this one. Still, no custom stuff, but doesn't matter. I mean, it would be cool to support the map a bit, a little bit of theming. Now next one. Next one. Uh, what did we do here? Oh yeah, this one. This one was also very enjoyable. <coughs> so, um, it started like that. Here is the red fizzler. Finally, yay! I was very happy when I saw it. Now I got some lands from somewhere. Forgot where though. This, ah, there is something, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So go in here, press the button, get my lance. Now, first thing you make is you put it like that, and then you notice, oops. So, you need to control this with a portal, which is relatively easy to do. Now we go back down here, press the button, and get our lens back. There we go. So I did that, and uh, now <coughs> um, I made the wrong portal. Um, first I made this portal, of course, in the center, but it turned out to be easier, easier when you make it on the side. I did then. Um, what did I actually do? Uh, like that? Yeah, somewhat like this. But I just stay on the lift or elevator, whatever you call it. Hope it doesn't get fucked. Yeah, works perfect. Um, this one as I mean, in the blind play, I of course followed all the anti lines and so on. Um, this one spot spawned the other lands. Then I finally wanted to go up there and see what's actually going up going on up here so notice it's the way back as I expected and I saw that we need to turn off this fizzler and that is what we do now um the cat meow. don't know if you hear it it's very cute um um wait 
what did I do? Um, I think I go over, but I'm not sure. I think I took both lenses here. Yeah, and then I noticed, of course, this thing on the floor, which would be perfect to bring a lens somewhere, like up there. And what I then did was I just placed both lenses on top of each other. So both would uh, come to me. And uh, now um, I need that Fizzler deactivated quickly. Uh, so this was this, yeah. Because I probably killed all my portals. Oh yeah, no, I still had it. Hmm. I, I underestimate myself here. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And then we can go over? I think it, it is it. Yeah. Um, actually, last time I went back up and made the portal from upside, but um, I see you can make it simply from here. It. Now, oh yeah, I remember it. It's like exactly in a in a um, how do you say shooting distance that you cannot investigate here. Well, that's that's crap. So you cannot like kind of look down or whatever. Okay. Um, problem is, I just see I made I made a mistake. The problem is, um, let me actually go down. This is terrible there. Um, I only need one lens inside and the other lens I need it outside. So I, I didn't know that I sent both lenses inside, of course. So inside is here uh, in front of this fizzler. And um, yeah, that was a mistake. And, and uh, let me actually keep one lens outside. Le and I want to fucking kill the turret, man. So. What we do quickly now is somewhat like this. Bam! Out. Good. Now I would like to have the Fizzler off again because that is way more convenient. And I think now we solve a whole puzzle actually and we need a cube for that exactly. Okay. So what I did last time was both lenses were in there, Fizzler was on, on, and I went over here, noticed shit, I need a cube. So I I respawned one lens. I simply destroyed one. And got it back. Okay. Wait, I did this different. Yeah, I show you what I did then. I respawned one lens, um, disabled the fizzler, did everything like I did it now. Uh, what I did now, uh, then here was I got the elevator right there, I made a portal there and one there, <coughs> then I grabbed the lens. Right now I just see that probably it was meant to put the lens onto the elevator and use the elevator as a lens, like in the sometimes in a shopping mall or so when there is like a, I don't know what the word, but like when you enter the uh, I <laughs> see that. Um, crap. S subway? Is it subway? I, th I don't know. You know, the train under the earth. There are those things with those three other things and they rotate and so on. You know, uh, in the supermarket. Sometimes there is one of them. And when you have a uh, <laughs> thing on wheels. Yeah, it's no gamer term. So how should I know the word? You know, where you put your food in. You know, so you can carry all of it, and um, I say those uh, uh, homeless people also have them. You know, go stand through a separate path. Like this is your path, and this is the wheel thing path. Whatever. Yeah, I think I lost myself a bit in talking. Okay, and and what do we do now? So this also makes this, which is good for us. Then we can press the button. Good, and now you also see how the laser puzzle works. And here, lens here, uh, goes through the middle and starts over there. Uh, so you get your lens back. Um, I will not do this with the elevator because, as we know, <coughs> when the elevator starts, the lens kind of, you know, uh, I can demonstrate it. 
Oh, yeah, okay, it still worked, you know, because uh, shit like that happens all the time. So we do not want to do this. Instead, uh, we want to do it this way. Good, and now one lands here. And the other one over there. Which we can do easily by placing a portal there and there. And then we just need the laser. Which I forgot now. But that doesn't matter. And we can do this later. So we get the laser here. Uh, shoot it, for example, th there. <laughs> and then we put the lens on there. Okay. So I enjoy this map a lot, as you may have noticed, because I talked a lot. Uh, yeah, and then I noticed the map ends before you even enter the elevator. Kind of weird, but it's okay. Yeah, I forgot to write the map name, last map name, I think, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Now at 2610 we play in Richmond 1. Richmond 1. So here well, I was looking forward for new puzzle mechanics, because the name kind of enrichment... Sounds like an um, enrichment of, like... You get richer off ideas or what? I don't know. Yeah. So this this um, I, I need to press a button, obviously. The whole map here felt kind of weird to me. The main reason for that is um, there are like seven hundred bridges in here, and I would have liked it better. Oh, damn it! Yeah, that's a bit the risk. I never died last playthrough, but. I didn't want to make it too long. However, now it gets even longer. Whatever. Uh, the, 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 you know, like so many bridges. And I would have liked if instead of one bridge, two bridge, and the next room is a bridge, and then the room after is a bridge. If there was only maybe. Mm, not sure how, if it's even possible and so on, but. Um, you know, like uh, one bridge, and then. You can, like, those 90 degree panels, if you need a portable, you pop one up, the bridge gets blocked, of course, but you can then take the bridge, copy it, do whatever you want to do, um, and so on. And, uh, yeah, if you need the bridge in the next room, the panel goes back down, and the bridge continues through it. So it's like I have not used this bridge neither this one and I was like holy shit what the fuck why are there bridges um then here I said another bridge two next to each other I mean it's, uh, I don't think this is beautiful however now funny part so you notice here the way to go up and uh, you notice you can go over there I notice now that I can actually simply kill those turrets by placing portals under them, but I think that was too easy for me, so what I did was um, uh, Terminator style here. Bam, 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 bam. See? Fast, fast. So, yeah, that is what I did. Then here I noticed I need the cube. Oh no, the cube, I don't have a cube. No, so I went back and then I noticed the purpose of this bridge. Yay! Now, I f think I simply sacrificed the companion cube if this is possibly as possible. Yeah, that is what I did. Yeah, and keep a portal over there. Yeah, exactly. So I, I have blue there, so I just make red here now. Okay. So here again, I think you could grab the cube uh, with the bridge, but I didn't do that. I did it this way. Okay. So we are back here, and now we go back over there. Oh yeah, by the way, 
Yeah, okay, it stays there. Um, I also had a look over there and so on. And yeah. But it turns just out you place the cube here. And um, the thing, the part over there follows now. Um, I guess I made a portal, I would say. Did I do that? No, uh, didn't I simply go over here and then have a look in here? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did it like that. Not sure, I don't remember. Maybe I also made the portal from here, you know, and then went over. Well, it doesn't matter. It's to the same, and then you see, ah, I can jump here. Good. And now I think at least this bridge was never used. And so, yeah, I think there are too many bridges, and I think not all of them were unnecessary. But overall, still a good map. So, I liked it, obviously. Okay, then, uh, 31 minutes. Portal Stories Pass Power. Now, this is the first map with a custom theming, so... Yay, everybody's happy. The problem is I don't <laughs> like Underground. But, um... When you look around, you see... This is obviously not a stupid Puzzle Maker B-Mod style changer. Shit. Because I never saw the... I say bunker stuff there and so on. So it's obviously something different. You also don't see uh, here things like that. I tried to fall down, but didn't manage to do it. All right, so um, you investigate things here. You see the laser, the button, the timer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I went up there. Oh yeah, and the connection was very nice with this cable. I liked it. This is cool. I may steal this idea of you. Ah, yeah. I made a portal here first. Bomb. And then, then we go up there. Go in here. Go over there. I should have jumped, I guess. Stop, stop, stop. Next try. What? What the fuck? There we go. All right, so now we have a cube. Uh, yeah, and the Fizzler turned off for mysterious reasons. So we grab it, and what did that do? I forgot. Oh, okay. Oh uh, yeah, um, I also went in there. I tried to jump up there. It didn't work last time. Holy Jesus. Well, it didn't work. I just used the cube then, you know, like this. But yeah. I mean, I noticed that it's not uh, flat here, so right side here, it's higher uh, than here, so I think when you jump from there. Okay, so I went in here, I already thought like, am I supposed to be here? I don't know. But um, I guess it is supposed. Because we need to cubes to make this here. Okay, so you make a... Uh, yeah. Um... So first of all, you make this, and you notice, oh no, oh no, help me, help me, help me, what do I do? Um, and I gotta quickly think about this, um, I think I have a portal there, one here. Press the button and then do all this stuff. Okay, so, um, I grab the laser, put it on there, maybe let's save it again. And then we go over here. Now, I didn't do this last time, but I actually wonder what happens when you stay on the bridge while it goes up. If you can reach something now here. Easter egg or so. Hmm. Obviously not. Sad. Very sad. Okay, now here, um, what I did is I grabbed both cubes. Later I notice you only need one. See, it doesn't work anymore. Or it, it works after some tries, but it's just annoying. Okay, good. I placed this here because this opens a door. Now, um, I didn't see this one there. I saw it then at the end. So uh, what I did, I was, I was doing this one. 
uh, I went in here. Um, I died about seven times. Yeah, exactly like that. So that's why I saved the game. But after all, you you can make it over there with a jump then. So I would I would maybe make this a bit brighter there. This uh, one platform, this one. Would it be cool? Or here, for example, this is what I meant, like a, a swinging lamp. I mean, this is cool. This is stuff I expected. Okay. So with Call of Duty aim, we make a portal up here this time to make that easier. But you know, last time I just, uh, from there, I jumped over here. Okay. Then uh, here, you notice very quickly, ooh, gill. A lot of speed gear and uh, somewhere we saw a button on the roof, namely up there. So we got our gear and with the shaking stuff and so on, very cool. Now we place our gear here. <coughs> here I was a bit confused because um, this is obviously normal here. It actually looks great, it looks quite detailed. But weird though, I mean, it should color it, because even if the floor is like broken, let's say it's broken, um, you can say there is not that I cover the broken parts with the eel. I mean, if someone puts gill here ten years before I come here, uh, we could then say, okay, some of the gill kind of dried out or whatever, and then it looks now this way. But um, when I make a fresh gill, it should cover all of it, the floor. It's just the light gets kind of weird here. It's lighter and brighter and whatever. But it doesn't matter. Okay, so I press the button. And then, as usual, at this point, I ask myself, where is the exit? So um, I go out here and look around and look around. Yeah, finally, I found it here. <laughs> okay, and then... You're like, wow, it's not finished. Which is very cool, this outside stuff. This is something you see um, not often. I mean, here, I don't know. Looks like laser, but where is the laser? Has it ever been on? Um, ah, yeah, now here, it's very cool you made those arrows, so you kind of see a little bit uh, where you approximately have to go and, and so on. So we find this one there, uh, we go in on it, that's what I did, and then I see this one there, I'll make a portal there, let me just save, because as you saw, I'm likely to fall down, and then yeah, here we have a stairs, or a catwalk, press the button, and booyaka, so we get gale. I was already, already like penning. What should I do with it? What should I do with that? Um, then I came here. And yeah, then I thought, okay, uh, looks like, uh, you know, jump. So I make the gill here. Yeah, I like this. Last time, actually, I had to uh, replace this quite often because, you know, I get it was like this at first place. So it was crappy. Anyway, it was good this time, and um, then I thought, yeah, I just try making this a bit centered, more or less, at least. And then I just try to jump down there from blue into blue. Now, I forgot to save the game. Um, um, yeah, I saved the game. So imagine I saved it here. Um, that's why I, d I didn't make the portal. Okay. Because I'm not sure if it works. Yeah, see, it didn't work. Okay, so let's load the game again. Um, I don't know if I jumped last time. Ah, what the fuck. So let's make this higher. And uh, load the game. I saved it earlier. You just didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So last game it worked at the first try, so... We can let this count. And then here, you notice like those doors as they are in the original story mode stuff. Very cool. Over there, a lot of stuff. This is very nice. 
So I enjoyed this a lot. And now I think what actually happened was I was sent back to the main menu. But I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. And this happens um, at some points. Now oh, we gotta find your map here. Um, we played this one, so we played the funnel, Joe. This happens at quite some of the custom maps. Um, I guess you know better why this happens than me. Never happens at Puzzle Maker maps and so on. Um, so I'm, I mean, by pu by custom maps, I mean hammer maps, basically. Okay, so here I play Funnel Challenge, and what do I see at the first place? A laser and a fizzler, yeah, uh, and a button, and a laser relay catcher thing, and a cube dropper. Uh, so, yeah, where's the fucking funnel? What the fuck, man? And uh, I found it over here. Now, um, i tell you what happened uh, last time. What happened last time was that this lens actually was here. Do not ask me why. I promise. I actually taped it, so uh, I got it video proof. I can't come in this map, and then by the time I go over here, I see... What the fuck is do this lens there doing? And there it was no lens dropper above. So, <clears throat> if I would destroy the lens, which seems likely to happen, because there is water right underneath it, where would it come from? And I was like, at the end I thought, yeah, okay, you turn on the funnel, and until it reaches this white tile over there, um, it takes like, I don't know, three seconds. Uh, and when you can make it in the first try, you you have to do, when you want to make it in the first try, you have only three seconds for it. But then in the third, fourth, fifth try, the lens would spawn from here, drop here, and then instead of three seconds, you then have maybe five seconds or four at least or so so that was uh, what my thought was you know but obviously I was wrong it was just a weird weird freaking uh, spawn of the lens so it indeed moved like one unit or so okay now uh, you start with uh, what you can start uh, you notice this button disables both uh, fizzlers which I think was very nice because you know often the connections are very problematic you ask yourself what is this button doing what what was that laser catcher doing again what was that again and here is simply see your button fizzler rest for the exit so easy shit that was very convenient okay good now um yeah um um what did i do i, s I started with the second cube yeah so i wondered how do i go up there and so here i can't Three height units here, not enough momentum. And I see there. Ah, oh, look at that. So much momentum. This could be enough. So I stepped on this one. I made a portal a little somewhat there. Did I do that? I think I did that. Did I? No. Yes? Ah, yeah. Exactly. Then I thought, yeah, yeah, uh, this is tricky, difficult. Uh, you know? Shit, and then I see, oh, look at that, I can actually go up here too. So, uh, then I did that. Cool, the laser didn't burn me, and then I see, indeed, nice. Good, so I um, get the cube. Uh, I think last one was dirty or so. Yeah, I think now it backed or so. Ah, yeah, okay, cool. So, um, last time this didn't happen, but uh, now something for you here problem can I even hear I don't know I killed the dropper too. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as I get a lens. Ah, screw it. Okay, let's imagine this is a, a cube, not a lens. <laughs> okay, so um, this, for example, surprises me like shit because LP Freaky here makes a Percher Valentine, a Percher Halloween, and so on. 
and then an error like this. I mean, holy jeez, what the fuck? Okay, anyway. So, this is a cube. Uh, you place it here, of course. And... You need it over here, obviously the, the the cube has no purpose over there. So you make a portal somewhere there, and one there. You get it here. And uh, to get the lens, actually, this is still a cube. Um, you notice that, yeah, you need to funnel would be nice, you know. But now the problem was, I said I have to go up here again. Let me uh, reproduce this. It was lying here, so I was like, okay, wait a sec, I don't even need this funnel. What I then did was I went simply over here. I made a portal there. I went there and grabbed it. I worked, so I was like, holy Jesus, crazy. Now I did the whole challenge without the funnel. It Seriously, it worked. But um, we do not want to cheat here, so... Uh, I don't know if God mode is still on, so let me be careful. So let's let's do it with the funnel. Let's do it in tenant way. I actually also did it because I don't know. It feels weird when you do stuff the unintended way. So for that we obviously need a cube there, I think. So I would say I did that probably, and um, what did happen? Yeah, I don't know clue why it respawned, but it respawned. Okay, uh, yeah, it's there, and I probably tried to get it. Like that, I would say, I guess. Yeah, I assume that, yeah. And now, um, no, I made this different. Did I make this that complicated? No. Hmm. I have no clue, because basically I would have to destroy this this one here. Can this be? No. Ah, no, wait a second. Of course, I can get the other lands there back the same way as I brought the cube. So let me do that quickly. A bit, a lot of walking now. At this point, the other solution was way faster without a funnel. Whatever. Okay, so um, now we have our lens. Yay! Okay, so I place this there, and when I think of making portals like this, everything should be hit. Yeah, and indeed, this cube stood here. There you go. Nice. There we go. So basically, I did the funnel challenge without the funnel, which I thought is very funny. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so, um, very cool map. Now I just got something to drink, and then we continue with the next map. Myself a beer that I guess even you guys know. It's a Heineken. I think it's, a, it's it, uh, according to the name, I guess it's German, and I guess for Americans or yeah, Australians and so on, it was must would be way more expensive than here, I guess. Um, so now we play the map called Move the cubes and the sphere and now here I said like holy Jesus what kind of name is that hmm eh? that's delicious um what kind of name is that I mean what do you, you can name your map like uh, cube and ball you know or uh, uh, turret 
is there uh, you know it's just it's not a map name I mean, the name must be creative like here I don't know lunar moon base stuff here or whatever not like uh, white and black tiles okay it would actually be cool I think but um, uh, uh, I think this is a crappy name to be honest okay now this was the first map I do not uh, like all the way through first of all I like to analyze a map and then execute it the solution and then win so by analyzing I mean that I look at things like these and then see okay I need dots and moon for this or square and star or something and then I have a look for square and star and now okay this does this and here I'm just like hey what the fuck what the fuck is that you know and then here okay I see moon 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 funnel cool everything cool what is this button doing no clue no clue no nothing there I mean here look at this uh, absolutely okay I mean the, there's a button there's a dropper you press it you see okay uh, I mean, there's no anti-line needed um, but yeah, it's, it's like this. It's like, what the fuck? I mean, okay, all I can say is I need two things, so I would assume those two, maybe. Good. So then we notice we cannot kill the turrets, and the map is called Move the Cube, so let's uh, move the cube. Okay, we have the cube moved, and now we need to find the ball. So I went over here. That's the lands. We need a ball, so let's leave it there. Nah, come on, kitty. Um, Over here now. Look at this. Ball slot? X. No signage. So wh what could it be? I mean, if it would not be <laughs> those two that are connected, I would like freak out. But obviously, um, yeah, it is that way. Um, we can make a portal, I think. So, um, yeah. I think th when things are next to each other, it's, it's not really needed, the signage. But um, at some points, I think it simply is. Uh, last time, the thing uh, uh, that you know this did something. Hm, I don't know. Ah no! Look at this fling. Okay, I guess then I flinked. Hmm, let's see how this works. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So I press moon and then I remember moon. Wasn't that the beam? I think it was. And we don't need that anymore. Let's leave them here and then make a portal and then we can get all of them. Okay, so indeed, funnel is on. Funnel fun time. Um, maybe uh, let me just get those things here. Okay, good. So um, we have a laser and funnel laser and so on. That sounds like turret killing time. So what I then did was this here. I'm not sure. Um, I th think I may have actually put a cube first of all into the funnel so that I'm blocked a bit and that I don't reach the max height. Okay, now we can go over here and then we are like, okay, cool. Now we got the funnel and those buttons obviously are those check marks there. And they aren't. And I'm like, oh, no. But then, okay, I see them there. Okay, so that's also cool. That's very close. So I can live with that. Okay, so let's get two cubes. I don't know, last time actually I didn't even know that I have three cubes. I only had the lens and the cube and I don't know what the other cube was, where I got it from and where I left it behind. So I simply did not know that I have three cubes. Uh, I think I know what I did. Um, the first cube we got at first place, I think I left it in first room. Then I went, at, or at the spawn, basically. 
Um, can I quickly show you that? Um, I left it there, the first cube. So this cube, I left it there. And then when I went over into this room, you get a cube here and the other there. And then I worked all the time with those two. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Oh, fuck, now I died. Damn it. Doom on the no clippers. Doom on them. Come on, baby, load in the game. Are we at the start? This is very sad. This is very sad. So let's quickly here uh, restore the situation because I think there is no need to play everything seven times here. Ah, fuck, I think in solo you cannot no clip through with cubes through. So, like, the cube has no no clipping. And one more. Yeah. So let's. What? No. Yes. Okay, what? Well, yes. Why don't we let this cube there just be there and do it as I did intentionally? Okay, so you make those portals and then you bring the cubes with you, obviously. And now, here, what I didn't like here besides. So the first thing I don't like is the signage up there. And now, what I didn't like here, it's just a very minor point, so. Um, um, don't uh, think about it too much, but it's the same system, like it's a button and a r rotating panel, so it's like a bit repetitive because we already had the exact same layout earlier. Ah, my funnel is off. Um, where am I? Fuck, what? I just pressed B for God mode. Everybody knows that B has God mode. <sighs> oh, God damn it. I see Rias Come on, screw this. Hey, seriously. Ah, it doesn't want to. Let me do it again. The weird thing is actually that the map is really easy and shit, you know. And I fail here 7,000 times. See, this is so annoying. Okay, we go through here and there, okay. Why is this not working? When I watch it, I can kill the fiddler. Good. So we can do this faster. Did I press the button? No. Okay. Anyway, um, let's press the button. I think I better go over here. Okay. Wow, what a fucking waste of time you are. Right? Amazing. Save the fucking game. Good, we have a meme, yay! Uh, what did we do? I think we went over here. We made that portal and that one, like that, yeah. What is, what is on the other hand, very well done, is of course that you cannot um, accidentally place the beam in a wrong place so that it fucks off your cube. So here would be a fizzler, just imagine that. Um, it annoyed me, so there is no more fizzler now. Yeah, so I got fizzled, fizzled. and the cubes are in here and are not reachable. So we do what we always do when we lose cubes or cannot respawn them or whatever. We kill them. Why did I do that? What what was what, what was the goal? Let me actually have a look what the goal was because I forgot that. Ah uh, yeah, we needed X and dots. Um, I hope I was not too. Ah uh, yeah, then you saw like oh the laser is off. Uh, yeah, that was another thing I I super disliked. At my original playthrough, one of the first things I tried was this catapult, and I thought like 
Yeah, you would definitely not troll the player and simply send him into a laser, but you did. So, um, highly recommend. Uh, why don't you make simple um, platforms or a whole wall that goes up and down? You can do that. Uh, so, when you are not supposed to go in there, you do not die. When you use the catapult, you simply fall against the wall and then you fall back down or something, you know. And then the whole four times three uh, platform moves up or so, you know. And then you don't have to die. Okay, so we killed two cubes, so we get them back. I think we need them for something. <clears throat> so this is uh, how I got my cubes back. I don't. I didn't even kill the other one. I simply respawned it like that. I just remember. Okay. So there are all our cubes now ready. The third one is also here. And uh, we can have a look what's over there. Actually, I'm not something with a ball, I know, but yeah, okay. So we got a ball and a ball slot. So I made a portal there and there, and. Booyaka! Oh fuck, I died again. I never died in this map at the original play. Oh, I have got mode on for some reason, obviously. I think this didn't work last time, but last time I simply went down and then I was extremely afraid the elevator would kill me. And I anyway do not understand what this elevator is doing here, so uh, then I just uh, jumped back, uh, catapulted, and yeah, we did X and the dodge. So what you then do, do obviously, is uh, you go into the new newly opened a room. You see a laser and three cube slots and an option to fling. So here again, very obvious what the three crosses are standing for, each one for a cube slot. So what we would do, we would simply put all cubes in here. <clears throat> what I'm not sure about is at one point the player is given two cubes at the same time basically there one is behind a cage and one is just like in a button why that actually why then you have always to ca carry two cubes with you instead of just one and one would be enough <clears throat> I mean even Especially this cube here is actually also completely unnecessary, or is it? If you just would make each of those button pairs to one button, including here the end, just one button, why not? I don't, I don't get it, but whatever. I think there may, may be a reason. So now we want to fling, so we just make a portal up there and see if we can manage this. And since we had a very careful look at the whole thing, we saw that we need the ball. And now the question is, how did I do that? I had a super cool idea, instant, last time actually. But I forgot it. So, I have both portals at X and dot, so I definitely do not need this anymore. Then I saw you were, ah, oh, you can jump now very easily over there. Maybe that's the purpose of the elevator? We don't know. Oh yeah, now I remember my idea. Um, it was make a portal and jump in it. And then I finally reached this spot, which I saw uh, very early and came by two or three times, because I was not sure what it's actually doing and what it is good for. Yeah, finally I reached it, pressed the button and I was finished. Yay! So as I said, the, the catapult into laser thing, something I dislike. <coughs> Sorry, then... Too, too many cubes actually? I'm not sure, maybe you need two cubes. It can be, I don't know. But basically, I could imagine that one cube is enough. And uh, what was the end? Um, 
Ah, yeah, the, the signage. At least for the ro um, rotating platform underneath the beam. At least for this one. Okay. So, 65 minutes already. This is crazy, man. Q and button. By the way, the reason why I do this with this video here is actually... Yeah, look at the map name again. Cube and button. I mean, ugh. This is not a name, man. Um, the reason why I de de do this video is... I think you you are the one always making videos and... Uh, no one is doing videos of your map. I'm not sure. However, um... Yeah. It's obviously one of this... Uh, one portal... Portal gun. So uh, what I like here, and what is pretty new of this mechanics, is that you fizzle only your portal, not the uh, the computer portal. Now here I, of course, press the button. I always press buttons. And I saw there, so ooh, that's nice. Finally, some some awesome background. Then I see it's relatively wide, and I, of course, ah, look at this. So I wanted to go in there, which is uh, what I did by um, doing this, I think. Yep, exactly. And then I found what I kind of expected here. It's super hardcore easter eggs rooms that are bigger than the map itself, you know. It is awesome here. Absolutely crazy. <coughs> so many cubes. should have done companion cubes and then I could imagine that all those companion cubes would be my girls you know that's about the amount of girls that is satisfying oh, hardcore okay then I went in here and found the beans and so on Yum 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 yum. Oh yeah, I don't know if there is anything more, but yeah, I then went uh, just back. Hope I showed it uh, enough room. I have no clue um, if you just put two and three insta instances here together or if this is a shitload of work to make this. I don't know. Alright, so then we come back to work. To puzzling, actually. So yeah, you obviously would say, hey, I need a cube. So, let's recall things. Um, cube here would be good. So. Um, we can make a portal, and if the cube would lie on orange, we would have won the game. So, why don't we make this? There is like a funnel and lasers that tells you like, oh, the, the cube goes uh, through there. And all you do is you make a portal, and you don't need all of that shit. I mean, the funnel is, is for the easter egg, so, so it's like, huh? What the fuck was this room? Good. Then I make a, you make a portal. Uh, no, 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 no. What I did was, I got the cube. Exactly. <clears throat> Where is it? Here it is. So you place the cube here, and now you see the fizzler. There. It's like, wait, wait, the fuck. Off. On. Well, yeah. Oh, you're lucky. What the fuck? What the fuck here? Trigger, 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 trigger here. Wait, wait, wait. Where is this here? Yeah. So, uh, what we do then is. Funnel! Yes, exactly. Funnel and funnel out of orange. So we go back in here. Funnel out of orange. So we make blue here. And that's it. Then I was not sure, oh, could I grab the cube? But I think the door closed then. Yeah. I guess so. Okay, um, and now... Um, I thought, why not keeping orange, first of all? 
and have a look what happens. So we see momentum and something useless. Um, so let's make the useless first and think of what could it be good for. Hmm. 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 Nobody knows. I still I, want, I really wonder right now because I mean um you can also use this tunnel you can simply fall at the edge of it look like I show you like you make this and you fall at the edge of it and then you can use this one um, as you would use this one anyway okay so good we have momentum that's all we can say here I mean it may be a bit more convenient here I admit that. We have momentum, and let's ask ourselves, what, what momentum, momentum here, oh, ooh, momentum, so, but, mm, yeah, 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 momentum, yeah. yeah, momentum, so, I was wondering how you do this here, I was wondering about when I make a portal there, well, it doesn't even work, I could press the button, but, yeah, obviously, portal here, and to get the orange, problem, uh, we get fizzled, that's sad, so, um, I forgot what it did. Was the Fizzler really here? Didn't that turn off or something? I don't know. No, seriously. Didn't that turn off? Did I forget to press a button or something? Is it now off? No, it's on. Huh. But the problem is, I used the momentum over there to come out of there. 100%. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know why the useless portal is there. Because we need it. To create the momentum. To be up there. Oh yeah. Nice. Ah, that's how we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, last time I, I, I had it faster the first time I played it. Okay, um, so let's quickly save because we will mess this. Oh, we have time though. Okay, so we need to press about seven buttons. Um, this is so this is like this difficult execution and so on. So when we're going up, like now we have to press this one. So when we go up, let's do this. Oh, come on, man. Can, can't we press it when we go down? Well, I think we can. Come on. Wait, let me reposition this a bit. Yeah, better, better, come on, let's press it here. Okay. Is it on? Uh, yeah. Let's press it again. Ah, uh, we can't refresh. Okay. Anyway, about this is what we did, like, you, you press the button, orange comes there, you fall back in blue, and then, yeah. Ah! So, okay, that was tricky there at the end. Um, but yeah, what's good? What's good? Especially the, the Easter egg room is awesome, of course. So now we play Fizzler Fest 2 at 74 minutes? What the fuck? Fizzler Fest 2 is, I think, the best map of all of them. If I remember it correctly, but I do. Yes. I think. I enjoyed this map the most because I would say it's actually one of the hardest that is not made with a stupid hardness, like idiot bullshit. Like for example, here, whatever, execution hard or something like that. Okay. Whew, 74 minutes, man. 
Good. So here are signage, everything cool. Um, maybe it would be nice. For example, that is what is this square or something? Square maybe there, so I see it better from there, or on both sides or something. Isn't there? I think the overlay got fucked. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so basically, you see, you need square x and slash, kind of at the same time, and to reach the spot. Over there, you also need the last one, so this is like x slash square, so you need all four of them, kind of. Two portals, three cubes. And uh, this is this was very tricky. First of all, I was like, um, when I fuck up the lens there. Stop bouncing. I was like, how do I go back? And, I was like, oh, that's bullshit, man. That's crap. I have to die when I'm stuck here. So, uh, I actually didn't even think of doing this one here, first of all. So, everything cool. Now, um, I then, maybe I'll quickly say what I did. I then thought of something like this. I'ma quickly show you. Bah. Um, this situa situation allows me to have all four of them. So, slash, square, x, bridge. So I went over here and I kill now. Uh, kill is the wrong word, but I, I say I kill the lens there. Then it doesn't redirect the laser to the bridge anymore, rather to square. And I can access all of this stuff. And then I, I knew it, but. <laughs> I uh, need a cube here. Oh my god. No, no, no. Let me make this shorter. Thank you. So, the situation is basically you only have two cubes. This one is not here. Fall in the water, man. What the fuck is the problem? Okay. So, okay, it's back. Okay, but uh, yeah, it's not here. So, you gotta carry this one with you. And this made the puzzle a bit more difficult. Now I was thinking about, yeah, you know, if I could place the lens on this one and hit two laser thingies, this would be so cool. So I was like asking about, when I let the time pass so fast that the room starts to bend, the laser would maybe come out of the lens and then from here go over there. And I was like, yeah, this must be it, because I see no other solution. Then I started to think of things like, you know, your... Uh, kind of this stuff, you know. And then here, and what, and so on. It's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And finally, I remembered the first or second map we played. You know, maybe you already saw it a bit. Blum, 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 blum. This one basically would activate two things at a time, which is cool. And uh, since over there I need only a cube, no lens, although a lens would also be cool though, because there is glass everywhere, um, yeah, I've decided to go with the cube, so the cube comes with me, there you go, and that would mean I place a lens on this one. Now, um... I'm actually not, no longer even sure. Um, the button has some kind of problem. Okay, this works. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Lance. Um, the problem of the button is like... I think the... What was the problem? When the laser is too low, it doesn't go through? I don't know. Uh, no, 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 no. The problem was at this one. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, exactly. When the lens bounces, maybe we can show this quickly, why not? So when the lens uh, bounces, you see like that the laser is going too high, so it's going like above it. You know? And this would make the whole thing impossible. So this told me then I have to place a lens somewhere and point it at this one. So now I could actually with the second lens I could hit 
the first lens and it would be then when when this lens now bounces yeah imagine it bounces it would constantly hit it okay good the other question was just yeah and what else do we need um this this what do we need in what order and um let's go quickly through that we need square and x first of all so we lost a lot of things here actually hmm. Overlays. Um, square and X. So square. We can do this one here, though. But we can also do it like this. This would not play a role. And X is this one. Yeah. Yeah. What I actually did was this one, but I thought it's a mistake. Later on, because it makes it. Yeah. So let's do it different this time. Let's make it indeed here. But I also need the bridge first of all. So I need a bridge first of all. And then square next. Okay. Yeah. So we have one for the bridge right now. And we abuse this lens as a testing lens. What we do is we make one for square. And now we can let them bounce. What did I do here? Testing lens? What the fuck is that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you make this line as straight as you can. You grab the lens, uh, throw it away, and <laughs> yeah, stupid, stupid, stupid. No, no, come on, fuck test lens. What the fuck is a test lens? I fuck this away. Okay, we remember on this little line there is stuff. So let's remember it. Point at this. Go, go like straight down. At this line, we make red. And now we make a beautiful portal underneath this lens. And then the fun begins. What? What? No, fuck. Wrong timing. No, no, no. Shut. Let me restart. Okay, better, better. It's not precise. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good enough. But even worse. Nah, wrong. Not when it's on. Ah, oh, god damn it. Eh? Huh. I think problem is probably the blue one. Okay. Kidding? Fucking kidding me? I think I hope it's sustainable. Um, let's let this count and um, let's prepare this lens as sad. And we can save again. Um, maybe let's save um, here. And we take the cube with us. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Yeah, I, ch I noticed I jumped too early. The problem is, when you jump while you say off, you're too late. This needs three tries at least. On, off, on, off, on, off. See? Too late. So this would be the third try, so maybe it works this time. On, off, on, off, on, off. Ah, that's it. I missed the third jump, which was not necessary. But you see here already square? Wow, awesome. Anyway, you save your game. F, whatever, F. Then you go here, and since you... No, seriously, that didn't last. That happened last time. I just saved the game. Uh, anyway, let's imagine uh, it still works. I said, let's imagine it still works.
that, ladies and gentlemen. That is magic. Okay, and now, since we do not no link no no longer need the bridge, which works with the blue portal, we replace blue while the lens is out of red. We aim at the other lens. We save the game. We don't move the mouse anymore. And bam! Now see, ah, damn it! The height is good, but um, it's obviously not pointing enough to the right side. So you load the game. You step a bit to the left. Uh, this annoys now a bit. We uh, step a bit to the right. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, bridge. And uh, let's just try it again. Pointing a bit more to the right side. I oh, notice it's oh, it's a bit too high. Um, no, no, no clue. Actually, I didn't have to load, but I forgot about this. Whatever. Um, yeah. Now we get this. I can simply replace it. Last game, I always loaded the game. You know, and it was like, oh, don't move the mouse, don't move the mouse. Anyway, before it crashes again, let's save the game menu. I have this. Step onto the fizzler. Come on. Ah, fuck. Yeah, this didn't happen last time. I'm so nervous, you know. When I make the video, it's like, wow, panic attack. So, okay, step on this. Whoa! Save the game, but I need the risk, I need the kick here. Whoa, yes! Now I think this fizzler, if, if you make it so that the red portal lens would also hit X, um, you can imagine this relay laser catcher thing would would just be on off on on off on off on on, 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 on off and so on. And then it would make but you, you wouldn't see the f get the rhythm that well. Anyway, so bam, booyaka! Now you think, yay, finished. <laughs> Sit there. You would think finished, and then you're like, Ugh. well, of course you investigated this earlier. I mean, it's only fizzlers you ran through them earlier. Good. So, we killed our portals because it was getting annoying. And then now, and then now, we go back. We make a portal there. Don't tell me this lens is catching the laser now. Okay. And here. Yeah. So now the goal is obviously do something behind the slash fizzler thing. Ah, like making a portal. Ah, this is actually what I did. I didn't kill my portals. Wait, fuck, I forgot about this white tile. So I was there, the lenses were boom, 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 and then I simply made a portal here, and I was like, hi, hi, lenses, and so on. Good. That's how I did it. Okay. So we sh just uh, shortened this, and what you will do is you place the lens on this button, and the other lens will send in the laser. No. Mm -mm. What you will do is this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. So you make that. And now the trick seventy seven point seven. Oh yeah. Okay. <sighs> so as long as the door is open, this system is super cool. Because you know, when it closes once, I cannot reproduce it that easy. You know. Yeah, well now yes I can, but yeah, I like this a lot. I call this always like a, a self-powering system or something like that. Like a, 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 a lens on a bridge that redirects a laser into a laser catcher. And the laser catcher itself activates actually the bridge on which the lens is sustained. I like this a lot. Okay, so I did that because I want to be independent of portals. I want to run through fizzlers. And... What I especially want to do is um, get that slash thing out. So why don't we do this by um, 
placing the lens there on this one. Now we can get the slash lens out. Into the hot areas. And the hot area is not here and the start area is definitely better at this point. Because I can then bring it in there. Now I really do not uh, recall exactly what I did. I, I just know I did something and then it was finished. And I think what I did was I simply put that on here and that was it. Yeah. And I thought this is way too easy. Compared to the beginning, it's like, what the fuck? Who? Huh? Finish? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I thought now 7,000 times around the whole thing again and, or something like that. But obviously not. So, yeah. This map was r really challenging. I think it was the hardest, I guess. And, uh, oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I saw it has only three stars. That's not a lot. Good. And after this, Turret Fling, we play Turret Fling. And I think after this map, the quality kind of decreased like crazy, in my opinion. I don't know if it started at this map already. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It started at this map already. So, um, um, uh, I don't remember how the start was. I forgot about this. Ah, yeah, this flinging stuff here. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I see there. Okay, flinging. So, you fling. Yeah, I, first of all, I wanted to do it here, and then I was like, uh, what? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Fuck yourself, basically. So, okay, so we fling here. And you may be what? Panic, panic, I make a portal. And what I think is very forgiving is that you don't die when you don't do both portals at the, at the time. Like here, I didn't catch it. That's very forgiving, very nice. I liked that. Good. So now you go over here. Um, yeah, w once, maybe enough. Um, but I went over there, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and then obviously up there. Because it's the only thing you can do. And uh, then in there. Booyah. You go like, what the fuck is this shit here? And then you think, that's better. So this is a walkthrough and you also have to think the right things. So it's important to think, what the fuck is this? Then you press the button because when you see a button you press it. Uh, you can catch the cube there. You think like, how do I cancel this portal? Damn it. Then you think, no, I don't use this one to kill the beam because we said this is a shit portal. So we use uh, the one as you have seen it. And uh, then you place it here, and then, yeah, you go out of here, and something happened, obviously. So, now you know why there is a centralizer on those portal sides here, and uh, obviously we get Gil. And now, um, I was like, how did you I have a little bit of, of mouse lag. I'm about no, every fifth to every sixth frame is now skipped by the recording, depending on where I look. And I thought, like, yo, LP Freaky makes a map that has not a perfect performance. I don't know, or it's just a recording taking so much resources that it's not impossible here with this much of gear to, uh, yeah, do that. Okay, so. Before um, we fuck everything up, um, let's guild some shit here. Um, yeah, so we want to guild something, and now my question, LP Freaky, why do I always have to make this laser? I mean, ugh. laser guild. Okay, that was not good. Good, so laser. Laser. Uh, 
gear. Laser. Uh, gear. You know, that's cheap. Come on. Gearing is like bam 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 That's how you gear a room here, not that shit here. So shit, you know. Good. Now let's go back to bird. Okay. I got the idea of killing the turrets after some tries. I think I need to make it up approximately there. Boom! Yay! Good. So now we do again. Laser. Oh. Do I have God mode on? No. The water is not killing you. Really? No. No way. Wait a sec. Ah. Damage over time. Ha! Huh. Awesome. That, for example, is awesome again. That's cool. That is something I like on the other hand. Anyway, let's do it here. Laser. Yeah, okay. So, I talk about this uh, centralizer or placement helper, as the entity is called, later a bit. Um, I forgot about how exactly I did this here. Um, I mean, the gill lost speed, uh, lo loses speed over time, so. Um, I should make blue portal. Let me do this quite quick here. Oh, that was maybe too quick, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so. Everybody watching this has now watch to watch here ten minutes how I try to make a gale here. But don't worry. I think we got it. Okay. So I gale here one part and obviously we simply fling over. But before we do that, we have a look at this centralizer here. I mean um, No, just cancel it. Yeah, okay, no. I just, uh, yeah, when you do it from the other side, it's relatively hard to hit it. And uh, therefore, I wonder why don't you not make only one tile? I mean, it looks better that way. No discussion about this. But, um, uh, I mean, you can make the entrance maybe then here if you want, and then, I don't know, you cut all this floor off or something or whatever and then you only have here the path and then their water and their water um, maybe even a nice uh, idea to introduce the bridged damage by time of water not insta kill if you show the bridge here then the right thing and you know whatever um, okay yeah, let's go. So what I did then was save the game and well there is skill right here. So uh, save the game and jump Fuck. Last time it worked. Oh fuck, I forgot that you don't die. I really forgot it. You see I didn't know because the last time it worked first try. Maybe I did it indeed here with the kill. So on gill, go like jump. Yeah, that's better. And then up here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so I think I mentioned the two, three problems of the map. Especially the laser. And, um, you know, I would prefer the constant kill so much more. Yo. That's it, and yo. Okay. So, the 1920 Funnel Farm. Let's have a look. Funnel Farm. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, um... I got the cube here. 
Um, of course, I checked what's up there. Ah, button. Okay. So you go like here. Bam. You test the buttons. You see here, bridge. Fizzler. Ooh, sexy Fizzler. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. And uh, think of it. Hmm. Funnel wall button. Hey, that fits together. So you do that. And you will notice, hey, turns off this fizzler over there. So why don't we run through there in time? And why don't we just bring the bridge with us? Because obviously the whole map has to be finished in some time. So uh, let's do that. Booyaka! Okay, so you uh, come here and you first want to see... What is to do here? You see a catapult, you see a catapult target, right? And you see this on the floor. And you see this up there. So obviously, on the fly, you make a portal there and one there. Let's do that. Okay, I always died here. And now I didn't die. So, let's do this again. Let's kill the portals. There we go. Beautiful. 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 Now, what is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. So, obviously. We did not do this wrong because oh fuck I forgot I didn't wanna actually um, can I go out? Can I when I swim? Let me tell you, I, I wonder about your water when I swim at the top side I survive no okay good good sorry um, I was just wondering about this no but um, I think we uh, you clearly tell me here um. Portal there. It's even wider than the surrounding things. Maybe because of the overlay, I don't know. And this one here is so lonely here. It must be this one. And I would guess I come in uh, with some angle here and I fly out here with the same angle. I made the portal not uh, right and I would land up here. Right? Okay. And now, when we analyze the problem, I kind of see. Okay, work this time. You got lucky there, man. Um, okay, again, whatever. Yeah, now it works, of course. Uh, now it didn't work. Yeah. Um, you notice, kind of. You hit the roof, and the problem is, I mean, you help a lot of people making maps, and let me tell you something. The catapult uh, works differently depending on if you enter it the front, the side, and back and whatever it's always a bit different I mean I, every grandma that has ever done a puzzle maker map knows this and then I see something like this of LP freaky so after I died about 20,000 times there was only one BAM dislike next finished with this no seriously I mean or even just reduce the height of the kind of Puzzle maker, then you use this curve and you can use the height a bit, and then you're everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. So that's a simply bullshit. I mean, yeah, even a fucking 12 year would have made this better there. Seriously. You can make your seven percher Valentine Halloween stuff maps. But you can't make a catapult. I mean, what the fuck is that? You know? So I, I was like, what the fuck is going on with this guy? Seriously. Good. So, um, next map. I was sorry. I have to stop raging. Okay, so I forgot to show. What are we playing on? I mean, enhance enhancement or something. Okay, um, but we pressed it, of course. Then, um, let me think of that. Let me think of that. Um, Ah, yeah, here again. 
here I, I noticed like okay th this will be four platforms that like um, turn around 90 degrees okay and um, I was like okay yeah, yeah why don't you just make one signage especially if one source will turn all of them on or alternatively you can make a light bridge but I, I thought maybe this is like four cube slots or something um, maybe then it makes sense but then you only do you don't you wouldn't need square according to the catapult so um, I had a look what those uh, things do here and then then I saw it like X square moon dot and I was like oh my god <laughs> what would you make if 12 of them are in a row would you have 12 symbols of which 7 are squares and 7 X's no seriously do you make only one symbol and for 3 you say no signage as simple as did good now uh, yeah as you notice I do not like this maps anymore that much and it's also why I said the quality dropped like hell anyway I did something else uh, yeah I used the catapult exactly oh and because I feel like I make a, a portal there I had pretty long um, to, to to catch this okay so when we go down here what we see is a oh, I think we should have done this early before okay yeah we do don't even need our our beloved por uh, portal there unfortunately what we want to do is like this and what should happen is the door should freak a bit out but then stay open okay so the point now is um, when we go to the other side we will find a cube slot for this um, rotating panel and one here for, for this one so we have a beam there is a laser and there is a wall button so we obviously need the beam there problem here is Fizzler and it would fit perfectly let me make this there BAM you know Go in there. They, yeah, beam out of there and so on. But you can not here. Wah. So, um, question is how to bypass this fizzler, and the answer is as simple uh, as simple as it could be. You simply use the top way instead of the bottom way. I don't know. It took me like three, four minutes or so to find that. Although there is like nothing else you can do. So kinda crazy. Anyway. So let's do this. And we get our cubes here. So we put them on this stuff. And now we can go up there. So yeah, um, I thought up here this is a bit mean here, this this uh, gallery or how you call it, <laughs> because from down there you're always like, um, as I was stuck with this beam, uh, beam to this button there, uh, hard to see from here, I was like, yeah, I want to shoot up here, I want to shoot up here, and so how do I go up there, how do I get up there, and so, um, yeah, and um, that's, that's some, um, very short orange for the beam there, and the beam took both cubes with it to the Z button. Um, once I managed somehow to go, ah uh, yeah, I went into the beam, don't ask me how, and I came out of orange. Yeah, you know, and then I was like stuck, at the, pushed towards the grid, and I was like, fuck, I'm stuck, but even there you made white tiles that were reachable, and uh, simply so that you have an option to go out of that so there was some thought in that and 
Yeah, that's why I liked it at the end. It was, it was okay, but I think it's not the the, the quality of the first few ma maps that we actually played. Good. Next in the row is Bath Top One. One hundred and ten minutes. So, okay. I don't remember this one. I have no clue what it is, but we will see. Nearly as much ass as it does on Earth One. The lab boys say if you insist on walking faster than light, you are one hundred percent going to go. Ah, uh, yeah. This is this is again. This was again a map I enjoyed quite a lot. So, uh, what you will do? You see here the lands. Oh my God! I want this lands. Save the lands. Dot com. Donate today. Now, um, you see their exit and Fizzler. Well, you that's it. You see exit and you hear Fizzler. Heard it? I know it's very silent the game music, but whatever. Game sound actually. Good. So you notice, yeah, this is not working. Shit and so on. Um. So, um, what is when you go, instead of redirecting the bridge, redirect the laser. Oh, 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 look at that. And I think this is very smart and very cool, so I enjoy this a lot. Because, um, you know, like the point is when I make a portal, the laser will then cancel. But I also don't need it anymore out here, so that's very cool. I enjoy this solution a lot. I said I like those Fizzler bypassing puzzles. Oh, ooh, okay, glad it worked. So yeah, I like them a lot. Um, it didn't take me long to solve it, like not much more than now, maybe one more minute or so. Um, so two instead of one or something, but still very cool. I like I like the solution to it. Good. Now we play grab the cube. Grab the cube. One hundred twelve minutes twenty seconds. Okay. Already getting stuck here. Can't even enter the map. It's too hard. I'm Johnson. I'm the warden around here. Okay, so it's again a one portal map. Let's see, this is skill or what? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I think um, it's pretty smart to um, get the gale distrib distributed a bit around the map here. Yeah, exactly, because that had some importance, and we wonder, like, how do we go up there, and then we think that we can actually use the gear for this. So we knew it. Oh, yeah. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button at first. Like right instead of left, and then. Ah, there we go. Okay, so. We get the cube. We grabbed it, so basically. Skip to next text chamber. No, I'm kidding. Ah, kidding. Yeah, but it said grab the cube, so. Okay. Now, here, come on, here. Fuck, last time it worked. God damn it. I needed two, three tries though. But what you would normally do. Yes. You would throw it simply, you don't even need to jump. You just step here and then you release the cube and the cube goes like boom, 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 very slowly and. Even if it stays still here, as you could have seen, it may be behind the fizzler. You grab it and everything cool. You place it here and then you can go into the exit. So a sweet little map. 
Is it actually finished? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's finished. Okay. Now the problem on those underground maps is just that uh, you walk seven hours to reach the exit elevator. Whatever. So there we are, and uh, can go to the next map. As I said, uh, grab the cube. Nice. Don't set your hair on fire. 115.20. And this map is tricky, 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 tricky stuff. Whew. I don't know, should I just show the solution or actually say what I thought of? Okay. Yeah. So, what I thought of was. Can I have a demo laser, maybe? Yeah, maybe, yes. If you rub your cheek on I thought of multiple it things, like, like outside, for example, on your this face. one would be actually it not too bad. On fire, so don't uh, we cannot see it. it well. Yeah. Like, you know, or like this, I don't know, come on. Like, come on, you know what I mean, it goes in there, out there, and it hits. The problem is how would the lens get stuck up there when I have my portals like this. Then I was uh, thinking, yeah, okay, good. When I, when I make my portals like these, I cannot, like, redirect the laser anywhere because my portals are busy, so all I could do would be, yeah, interrupt that shit. So we have the bridge here, but bridge, come on, <laughs> bridge for noobs, eh? You can fling over there, you can use the beam to go over there. I, I didn't give a shit about the bridge, actually. Yeah, then I was thinking about, okay, when I when I redirect the lens, maybe I could do it with flinging. The problem is, of course, yeah, the lens uses momentum by time as every cube and ball does, unlike uh, the pl player do. So, yeah, not working. I was like, hmm. I was gonna fling it like out of there with a little bit of of angled momentum so it would go through it and shit. Yeah. Good. By the time I then I came across I thought about put the lens in here, which is absolutely not good. Um but at, in the end I came up with yeah, good. I need the beam portals. Good. And I need to redirect the lens. And I, but I cannot make any more portals, so why can't I walk through this land? Is this the lens? Yeah. Okay, this one is better. The one time I don't respawn the lens directly, it's a. Cr oh, wait, other side. Okay. So I rotate the lens downwards, and push it in there, and this is like the only way I can redirect the lens. Uh, problem is just what the fuck do I do with that? And yeah, phew, uh, after a while, quite a long while actually, uh, the solution is obviously. How high is this actually? Here, three. This one. Enjoy this the door is open, I'm activated for a split surface. second, and it works. Yes, yeah, I don't like the solution, so I think I didn't test. like the map. Did I? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the solution. I think this is rather like when you finished this, you are like, ah, but this was not intended, right? And I think the map shouldn't leave that impression behind. Nah. I don't like this impression. Mm -mm. Good. Uh, this map, I think this map is rather. Isn't there some text? Yeah, there is the text. Um, demonstrational, or yeah, as as the title actually says, conceptional or a concept or something. Nice with the chord, by the way. Could be a bit more. You nearly do not see it. Maybe white floor or so. Anyway, it's very cool here. It sets itself up. I didn't look at it, sorry. Anyway, uh, you see here. Okay, yeah. It's cool. So. 
you get a lot of help and so on. And then you see here uh, one, two, which is the help. So you see here one. Okay. Now in the present, you press the button. And in the past, the button is still pressed. Unlike in the present, in the past, the glass here is broken. So we can do number two only in the past. And this is very cool. I like this a lot. Um, now in the present, of course, the the button did not get activated because when we make something in the past, it has no effect on the present. Ooh. Okay, so we continue. And there we are. Turrets! So when we go to the present, we see protection. Now I actually killed them like this. And what you notice is that the turret explodes. Turrets. Which is probably necessary to also to let them die in the past. Anyway, good. Here then I just rushed. Damn. Maybe search mode. Fuck, I missed one. Okay, good. Now, you're ahead a long time, actually. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Since when can I jump two units? <laughs> I just said. And yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, there is glass, I noticed. Ha! Huh, glass, wait. Glass, there was something with glass. Like it's broken and so on. And then I saw, ah, no, it's not the glass that is broken, it's a fizzler. Okay, so now we get the queue. I think that's already it, or was some more stuff? And here I like the destruction theme a lot, like um, with the plants and all that stuff. Stiff stuff. So that's like that's very cool. The look of the map. Then I thought at the end to thank you for playing as this play too long and so on. So, um, for example, you could display it already while falling down, and then yeah, you save some time. Okay, so this map is called La Daida. Number one. Yeah, I didn't like the solution to this one, neither, for uh, several reasons. Well, I was slowly, you know. Um, so the point here is obviously Fizzler, you know, so Fizzler, bad, bad, bad Fizzler. Um, can I jump in the beam, actually? Did not try that. I think I won't make... Not escaping or I need, need to make it rather right on top, though, yeah. True, true, true. Nope, okay, it's not working. Okay, good. So, yeah, here is my plan for <laughs> this map. Uh, we can go up with the beam if we want. Yeah, I think, why not? Let's do that. And uh, let's quickly cancel the portal there. So what we have to do now is basically, or what I did, I don't know if it's I have to do. Um, you kind of fling yourself now here, and then you reach the beam again. You can fling twice if you want. So I'm not allowed to change portals, and right now, while I fling up the second portal, I am supposed to make a portal over there, which is, I think, mm, as said. It's not a good solution. No, wait. Yeah, okay. So I go down and I look this way. Wow, okay, it worked. Like the first serious try, it worked. Wow, amazing. Whew. Anyway, I, I don't think this is not, this is not, this is not my style. 
Good. Now here uh, we go somewhat up. Okay. Let, let this never happened. Let's say this never happened here. Good. And then you see. Oh shit! You go down. And then we come here. Okay. Good. Now last playthrough. You can say it's my fault if you want, but last playthrough what happened was the following. So I came here and it's like, okay, well oh shit, laser. I go now. I was like, okay, grab the cube, grab the cube. I was like, hey, holy Jesus. I didn't, I really had no chance. The timing of the cube dropper was exactly like so that I couldn't drop, uh, catch one. Sorry, hit the laser. Wanted to demonstrate it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This might not have been necessary. So that now the time is good, and I could grab one. Of course. Yeah. B. Timing was like um, a cube. Now, then I come by. by. Well, maybe like that, yeah, approximately. Hmm. So I couldn't just grab this one, and I can't grab the next one. Whatever, come on here. You know what I mean, so why do I try to demonstrate it so hard? And, um, yeah, I was like, here trying. Well, you know, I was fucked. I was like, shit. And, yeah, I think that should not be possible to happen. And that is why I would make the cube dropper simply here. <laughs> so you know, I mean, come on, eh? I, I, this is shit. I mean, you, you work on this challenge there first, and then you care about this stuff here behind the fizzler, you know? So yeah, it annoyed me. It annoyed me a bit. I think that should not happen. It's like just trolling the player, and when I get trolled, I don't like the map. It's as simple as that. Good. Now, um, when we have this situation, the exit is open. So, um, I'm pretty sure there are multiple ways to do this. Um, but what I did was the following. Um, I prepared the portal here. I placed the cube more or less like that. Try not to touch it. I go through and I shoot at the beam. Um, that's how much I did it. I said I guess there are more, a lot of more ways to do this. Yeah, but that I didn't have a cube at first made me not giving the map a like. And the first puzzle there. Um, the first puzzle with the men flinging up, make the portal. This is also not good. This is not a cool puzzle or a cool challenge, in my opinion. Um, this map here is. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Um. Yeah, uh, we, we have a cube, we have a laser and shit, so the point is obviously to interrupt the laser, so put the cube here and then uh, something would happen, like the water would start and then you would place the cube there, okay, yeah, okay, good. So the point is not to interrupt the laser, the point is to place the cube on the cube slot. Yeah, um, what you do when you see Gale is you Gale everything. Yeah, so, um, when we rotate this, it goes further, I think, or not. Yeah, it goes on top. Okay, so we gild everything, and what do we do now? I ask. And, well, the first solution I tried was like, okay, 
up there is obviously some space. Maybe we can show it. Here's some space. And yeah, you could say the point is that the cube goes through that space. So we heal it. I mean, there's a washing station, obviously. It's meant. Well, this may be this demonstration effect, but I tried it about 10 to 15 times. I, I tried everything. I mean, I tried here, there, at the very end, and so on. It always got fizzled. It never got over there. Never. And now I make this video and it bang works. Yeah. Very cool, you know. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, and then I th just thought, yeah, f uh, f fuck, fuck you. And uh, I tried to throw it. Which um, felt very difficult, especially because you are not used to throw a cube with a gill combo. But I made it then, at some point. Yeah, I thought I'd throw it too early, then I'd throw it too late. Yeah, I think I don't do it all, always the same way. Yeah, that I know that that would fail. But anyway, um, what the fuck? Last time I didn't have that much problem. Anyway, um, once it's over, it again... What? It again landed on the gill on the other side, bounced backwards, and straight back into the Fizzler. So, uh, yeah, it was like, yeah, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Maybe it's because I hold my smoke in the mouse hand. I don't know. Yeah, but it's so close. It's just, I have no clue uh, if, if I have to go earlier or later, you know. I think I release it too early. Yeah, this is something... Uh, this is so weird with the fucking gale, man. This is really weird, though. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so you don't release it too early. Okay, so, yeah. Finally, you get your cube, you're like, haha, washing station, fuck you. Then you place it here. And then you're like, oops. Uh, and now? Yeah, so, what, <laughs> there, you know, it's like, huh? What? Huh? Huh? Yeah. And, um, gonna gill here? No, no. Yes? No? How would gill go here? Uh, maybe we can try here, uh, grab a b bowl or some glass or something. Let's, let's see, let's see, uh, snow glass. Maybe we cover our hair. Maybe like a dog, we, sh we shake it off here. Nah, it doesn't work. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, what's left? A bounce. Bounce. Hopefully this on the wall there is not working. And then we notice kind of... Okay, wait a sec. Wait a sec. There is something there. There is something there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Mom. Okay, um, yeah, you just try it, make it as high as you can. And then make a portal on the ground. And after a variety of tries. Namely, around five, six. You will land on this spot. Well, that's how I did it. It worked at some point. Um, I guess, yeah, it may not be correct. But... I mean, I, I, I am... Uh, I never tried it last time because it worked at the third try. But let's actually see what happens when I bounce through the laser. 
Yeah, as expected, you die. So that's why I never wanted to try it. <sighs> I like mine uh, better, my solution. Um, let's do it again. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It worked at some point. I was surprised myself, by the way. Or did I did I do this here? Uh, you know, I mean, you have more height here, and you can take some of that height with you. Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's make some gale here. Can we do that? Some more here around that spot. Didn't I call all of this last time? I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. Anyway, must be enough. Maybe I did it. Yeah, this could be. Can you even... Okay, it worked this time. Did I save the momentum? Maybe you can even jump up here now. Well, no. Okay. Well, yeah, that's better. Maybe now you could even jump over the laser, but yeah, I don't trust this fucking laser. Yay! See? No. Yeah, that's better. And uh, yeah, then you're finished. Congratulations. So, testing with turrets. Um, I don't, I didn't like the solution, not at all, and um, it starts with the blue ball that it's not going over then the throwing is annoying um no nope, i didn't like it yeah and then we play the next map called is it la daida 2 so there it is no conspiracy no twist we're in a test satellite orbiting the earth this map again, very good. Very good. So the point is, um, up there is a laser, and there is a laser catcher. Um, if the laser catcher is active, the things here switch. So what you have to do, obviously, is activate the laser catcher while in here. So you shoot a portal, laser goes on, bam, you won. So how would you do that? Um, by coincidence, I'm sure he, this was uh, not uh, wanted, there is no single um, portable surface on the third height unit. Okay, just a sec.
Okay, there we go. Okay. No clue uh, what's going on in here. But maybe I'm just disturbed again. Anyway, I write this down and then I make a skip button. Um, so this would be 145. 15, okay. So there is no height unit on the uh, portable unit on the third height unit, so you cannot go in here and then shoot there. Which would be nice, which would be nice. So, um, but the clue is, the trick is that when you uh, shoot on the floor, uh, lasers go upstairs. So that's why we make this uh, rotated here. You gotta try a bit. Um, also need to try and test. So you would stay in here. You would approximately make the portal like that and now we can have a look. If we manage to get the right height somehow. Okay, let's make it as close as possible and let's try. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yay! Solved! Yay! Nice! Cool! Um, yeah, I think that's that's a really nice solution again. Um, so we make any portal. Well, uh, yeah, uh, red. So you can grab the lens. Then um, you need the laser. It's actually important which portal you make, see, because you gotta uh, reach that spot here. Then you pr put that there and... You! Happy! So, a very cool map. I liked it a lot. Great job on it. Now the next map is called uh, a how do you say that anger or yeah anger I think management okay let's go let's kick ass and this map is ah uh, yeah this is one to skip for me at least because um. Yeah, uh, the point is, w would be, is, would be, I don't know, um, um, uh, um, yeah, okay. But when I shoot here, why does the portal go there? Anyway, let, I'll just, at least, I can show it at least, yeah. Look at that, have you seen that? Okay. Good, so we go up here, and uh, then we press the button, and now we have um, two seconds, approx, to like, do this again. So, um, then I was like, ugh, come on. Other guys can do that for me. Um, now here, I think, uh, here I totally stopped, because it's like, ugh, come on. You gotta time, time it right, so that the button the, the ball falls onto the platform and as you would already guess correctly when you have done that you gotta time yourself correct so that you land on this and it was like this is so you know problem of that is that you die <laughs> when you fail it and then I thought no thanks come on that's not my style and I stopped indeed playing the map right here so yeah That, that is just not my style, especially with the beginning there already. That is not what I like. Okay, this map is okay. Okay, we could say. Good. So, um. This button here makes uh, turns the fizzler off, and then we can guild some stuff. Awesome! Um, I was focusing quite a lot over there. Uh, even tried to jump then, <laughs> but then um, I kind of saw this one here. Now, what most people do is um, when when you have this default puzzle maker stuff, 
the cube always makes a freaking noise, a fizzling noise, when it falls into water. And then I always say, guys, why don't you make a button and then one cube drops. Button, one cube, you know. Anyway, um, here you don't have this fizzling sound and this is way better already. Um, yeah, I can live with that. Although a button would still not be disturbing or messing things. So obviously we need to gill this and uh, we can do this the following way. Um, what I did, I stepped on this button and then I let some gale come out of the roof. Um, I just need to check quickly here. Um, I shoot a portal below it. This is blue and then red. Okay, blue and then. Now the problem is when I make the orange, there is no more gale left. I made a, a, a little bit a, a slow on purpose. And the problem is the portals are never that good, and slowly the gale falls falls out of things. So yeah, I think this could have been done better. For example, by only one tile on the roof somewhere, one on the floor, with centralizers. Then everybody would be happy. So we need two, three tries on that. Oh, wrong. That doesn't matter. What do we make now? Can, can I switch, please? Okay, there we go. Cubim comes to me, <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, yeah, so we place that here. And uh, now... Wash ourselves, and then... Uh, let me think, <laughs> what was next? To be honest, I forgot like hell. How did I get over there? The jump does not... Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> like that. Um, like that, I kind of get some extra speeds, I think. Anyway, let's save. So, yeah. Let's see if this works here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, no, 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 no. Did I double? Triple super fling here? Yeah, I think I did that, exactly that, yeah. Okay, cool. I, sh I made it without dying. Last time I died a few times, okay. Good, so uh, here we notice the uh, thing is off. And here we notice we get a new cube. So, what do we do with that? What we do is, to go back, we obviously need the beam because we have no gear here and... Uh, we could, we could try to do the same, we could try to, uh, you know, again, like there, and then there, and then there. But from this distance, bleh, we already had problems before, and now here, forget it. And especially, a good reason not to do it is, when you would jump, you would not have enough speed. So, we do something different, and that is what I call get the cube out of the button. Um, so we make a portal there and then yeah we, we just shoot it everywhere the gill so the button goes goodbye. Now uh, we put that cube in here and step on the fizzler button obviously and yeah that's good. And now we go into the funnel and I think this is not well done. I mean first you can try your from the cube, jump from off the cube. Does also not work, and at the end you do your. Come on, I mean this is not a beautiful thing. Just a little stairs or something that, or thirty degree panel or something like that. I don't know. That gives you a little bit of height. This would already be more than enough. It's just not that beautiful. Now here, kind of the same. So uh, when I grab a cube. I need to walk over there, and when when I need to wash it first, and then I wonder why is the washing station here? I mean, 
Then I come from here, I walk here, I walk back, you know. I mean, it's a detail, but for example, washing station there or so. You know, when it was there, I would simply here grab my cube. I would walk over there, I quickly here, bam, and in. Oh, fuck, yeah. That's what happens to my demonstration skills here. Anyway, um, yeah. But as a, as a freaking detail, so there's nothing wrong with that. I just do not li like uh, walk. But besides that, it's actually a nice map. Nice puzzles in there. I think I gave it a like, didn't I? Yeah. I don't know. I thought the last map was called Anger Management and not La Daida. Anyway, maybe I missed something. Okay, so this is no longer your map. And that is why we are finished after two and a half hours. Hey, cool. Yeah, that was very short actually. Anyway, um, I had fun and um, probably my voice is really going and soon broken so I better stop see you goodbye